So I am answering some questions that I got from my subscribers. And there's this one question that this guy sent me that I thought was a lot of very useful information that he had in there and some very pointed questions and I wanted to just answer them. He sent me like 11 questions. So I've been doing videos for each of those questions. So you can go check out my other videos where I answered some of his questions. One was about whether the business analysts or the systems analysts were the same. And in that video, I answered whether or not, you know, which career is rising and which career I think you should chase business analysts or systems analysts and why. So you can go check out that video to see my advice on that. I also answered uh, another question he had about, you know, how good would he be as a business analyst? Like how would he know that this would be the right thing for him to do? And I answered that question very quickly in this five minute video or five and a half minutes, I don't know. <laughs> but go check that out too. And in this one, I'm gonna answer another one. So I'm at number six, which she says, let's say if I consider the role of a business analyst, what advice would you give me that will guarantee me to step my foot at the door? So first of all, I can't guarantee you nothing. <laughs> I don't know if you're willing to put in the work. I, I don't know. So there is no guarantee that you'll be able to get your foot in the door. It's just hard work and perseverance. There's no trick. There's no secret sauce. That's really what it is. So, but I will say that there are some things that you can do to improve your chances of getting a job in the business analyst field. One of those things I talked about in my video called, um, how to break into business analysis with no experience, which I would encourage everybody who's watching this to go watch that video. This is from 2018 and I laid down a lot of good points there and people still find it useful because it's just, it's evergreen content, right? It's never gonna, it's never gonna die. So watch that video. That gives you a lot of information about how to get your career started as a business analyst when you have zero, zero experience okay so go watch that video now he's asking how to get his foot in the door now some of the tips in that video is going to be helpful but also you know just have you know a good positive attitude is the first thing i would say you know be dedicated be positive be be hopeful people who give up easily they never achieve anything so that's the first thing your attitude shift is the first thing you need to, 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 to do to be able to guarantee your success. And the second thing you need to do is to get abreast of what the field is. You're already doing that because you're watching my videos, you know, you're contacting me and sending me emails. You have a pointed question. That means that you're thinking through this thing. So keep doing that, right? Keep thinking through it. Get the Babok, read the Babok, try to understand some of the, te the, the techniques that they talk about. I will say the Babok is useful, but until you really put your hands, get a hands-on experience, you're just doing theory and you don't really know how any of it applies. So read it to get a base understanding, but don't beat yourself up if you don't understand all of it because it's really a guide to the business analyst body of knowledge. It's not the exact science of how to do every single project that you're gonna come across. So understand that you're just familiarizing yourself with what's out there and that you don't beat yourself up when you don't get it because you're not gonna get it until you get your hands dirty, until you start doing an actual real world project, until you understudy a business analyst who is in the field, until you you really get exposure to this thing, right? So don't beat yourself up, that's how it works. You just have to understand the principles so that when you hear them, it can be, uh, it refreshes the memory of something, but it's not that you're gonna read the Bible and become a business analyst overnight. Now, it would be great if you had a mentor. If you could find a mentor that can actually help answer some of the questions that you have. You know, I myself did a mentorship um, over the summer and that was very successful. I had a number of students who were beginners who didn't understand anything about business analysis and I was able to take them through um, a real world experience, expose them to certain things and I, I felt like it was a well, well done, um, mentorship because I saw the result at the end of it and how these 
group of people were able to write BRDs, get into Jira, like they were hands on at the end of it. And so when they read the Bible after the mentorship, what well, they've told me that they they understand it better. So if you can find a mentor, now I know people are gonna ask me to be their mentor. <laughs> I don't mind being your mentor, but I can't be everybody's mentor, right? It's, I'll never have time for anything else. So I will respond to emails or stuff like that, but I don't know if I can commit to uh, everybody being everybody's mentor. I do have a mentorship program and it just ended. So I'm going to take a break because it, it did take a lot of effort out of me. So I'm going to take a break up from it and I will probably reconsider doing it again. Uh, maybe, oh, it closes out, twist it up. Doing it again, maybe next year. Um, but I have to take a break for the end of this year. Plus 2020 has been so chaotic. I, I just need a break. <laughs> so if you can find a mentor though, who would be willing to help you to understand practical examples and you can find them just if you see people online who are doing a good job you can reach out to them nothing is more flattering than when someone is en encouraged by what you're doing by your work so if you see other business analysts out there feel free to reach out to them see if they'll be willing to answer you help you mentor you um i certainly will but obviously i can't do it for everybody so we'll see how that works um so get a mentor and also practice Practice. You don't need someone to, to hold your hand all the time. You can practice on your own. Now, you, in your everyday life, right, what processes are you going through or what systems are you using or what, you know, what, what, what is it that you're doing every day or even one time that you could improve? Right? Like I go to Walmart and sometimes I go to their customer service and I see a ton of things I could improve right away. Think about that. Sometimes you're going through a process and you're like, what? How could this be better? And use that as your case study. Say, you know what? If I worked at this company and I was their business analyst, what would I do to improve things? No, you're going to have to make a lot of assumptions because you don't really work there. And you don't know their systems. You don't know why they do things. You don't know. But try to find out. Find out where you can. Like, go up to the kitchen and say, you know, why, why do you have to, you know, why is the line? Why is the counter so small? And I have so much stuff in my grocery cart and I have this little counter space that's so small. Why didn't we make it longer? And the cashier might say, I don't know, that's how they build it. And you're like, okay, cool. You know, and you go back and you think to yourself, maybe if it was longer, then you'd have more things on, you'd have a conveyor belt that would push the things off and whatever. I don't know, I'm making up stuff. But you could be going through some process that you complain about as the customer, as the end user, as the recipient, that if you were the Build, you are the person building it that you could improve. Use that as your case study. Say, this, if I worked here, this is what I would do to make this better. And document that. Document that, come up with your diagrams, do your flow diagrams, do everything that you need to do to practice, right? Practice, get out there, do, do stuff. Don't think that you're too, uh, like you don't know. And if, as, you, as you're doing it, you're gonna have questions. And as you have questions, you Google the answer, right? Or you read or you find a book, you go buy books, right? Things are written in the books that are hidden. So you can find a way to circumvent your lack of experience by just being dedicated, by being creative, by coming up with your own case studies and by you know coming up with your documentation and reading more, right? So that's one way you could do that. It's not going to guarantee that you're going to get your foot to the door, but I, I, I promise you, if you go into an interview with no experience and you tell them that I have no experience, I've never worked in the field, but I'm so dedicated. I really enjoy this so much. I've already, every time I go to a, an office or a business place and I see these processes that are archaic and redundant, I come up with process, you know, an improved process. And here's an example of the kind of work I've done. Here's my case study on, on Amazon, how I can improve the Amazon checkout process. Here is a case study on how I improved the Walmart um, customer service process. Here is an example. I mean, if you start just bombarding them with stuff, they see the enthusiasm, they see the interest, they see the fact that you're documenting stuff and you know how to think through these problems. You think they will give you a chance? I think they will. I would. I would give you a chance. Right? So you got to be creative. You got to get out there and do things differently because, look, 2020 is a year that everybody was taken by surprise and people had to reinvent themselves. So reinvent yourself, right? Reinvent yourself. Think through problems. 
Get out there and do stuff and you'll be rewarded with that. So there's no guarantee that you get your foot through the door. But if you do all the hard work, I think it's very likely to happen. So that was that question. Now, please join me for the other question on the other video. I will see you over there in one minute. All right. See you in a minute. Take care.